Stand against gun violence on the campus of Michigan State University today. The student walkout comes on the eve of the two month mark of the MSU shooting that claimed the lives of three people and injured five others. TV 5's James Felton tells us what students hope to accomplish with today's demonstration. I think this is just one last way for people to show that they do want gun violence prevention. Michigan State University student Joseph Kesto doesn't want state lawmakers to forget the tragedy that took place on MSU's campus nearly two months ago. A gunman opened fire, killing three students and wounding five others. Today, March for Our Lives held a silent walkout to advocate for gun reform. It means just coming together with other students, knowing that I do have a community that supports me and I do have a community that wants change. Fellow student Bell Hoke tells us the last couple of months have been far from easy. No one on this campus has just been able to like walk back into their classes in any kind of normal capacity. And I think acts like this, even if they kind of feel small, are still really important to show the university and to show other students and to show our politicians that this is still very real and affecting us. That's why student Maya Manuel thinks her Spartan community needs to actively participate in elections and be part of the change they want to see. I think it's important for students to really buckle down when it comes down to the primaries and pick candidates that they think will do the work in a swift manner for them. For his part, Kesto says it's important to never give up. I just hope people know like you don't need to wait for a tragedy to strike to want change. You should just always want change and fight for it. James Felton, WNEM TV5. And since the mass shooting at MSU, state lawmakers have passed universal background checks and safe storage laws. Governor Gretchen Whitmer has indicated that if the bills make it to her desk, she will sign them.